Hello there, Internet, Mr. Welch here, and welcome back to Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Alright, we need to find compounds, centrifuge, and... I don't know, then go to the sun, land of sunshine and lollipops, I'm sure. Low temperature storage, let's stay away from the fridge. Holding pens. To the fridge! Bring me my brown pants. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I, I can do this. I know, I know, I know. I, I, I got it. A warning. Inflamed it is, burning it does, bleeding from each hole, fore and aft, leaking down my legs, blood and excrement, my lungs are in my vomit. I pass clots of my organs now onto the filthy stone. Drink this, he says, and I did drink it. I did do that because of the changes. They ripple in me, my teeth sneeze out and scatter like mice in the dark. I cannot find them all. Gathered what I can, push them back into my gray gums with my fingers, but the nails are all weepy and falling out. Drink it, he says. It'll help the running of the fever, but because not us all can take the change. On the other table, a beast under a blanket. I never wanted to see under that, but he drank it too. He passed it under the blanket, and I heard it drink. Dear God Almighty, how can a man shit so much blood and still live? Why, the Chinese room? I thought we were friends, you know. All right, I'm fairly confident what I saw over here was some kind of horrible hallucination. Away it goes! I don't gotta carry it at any rate. Now looking at that. I don't want to see any of that. I'm just going to run and assume it's behind me, like always, you know? Oh, Lord. Did it make it? Did it make it through? It can't. It can't figure out doors, right? 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 It fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of him. To stumps. To stumps. Next time we will use an equal mix of infusion vitae and orgone disperser. No, no, just take him out. You can dump him in the river for all I care. Christ. OMD, that's the uh, stuff, right? No, I need notes. No. Okay, here we go. Uh, Oregon Monad, there it is. And Brennenberg Infusion Vitae would be in the one. Oh, okay. Of course. This will be a fun experience. Okay. I am strong. I am strong. I can do this. Strong man. Me? This is too much. This is too much for one man to take. I don't know how one man can take this much. But I can't. Nope. No, sir. Like, when it comes to things that are too much, this is one of them. What's this? Nothing. Nothing. It's nothing forever. <sighs> strong. I am strong. Strong man. Strong man with good accent. It's a fly, it just sounds weird. 
August 20th, 1899. Took delivery of another batch of imbeciles today. They are the sorriest specimens of humanity I have ever seen. No one asks where they go to. The authorities of Bedlam are simply happy to reduce their overcrowding and their teeming stinking halls. Well, of course, abuse of the mentally ill. This is the early 20th century. We measure their skulls, check their teeth, give them laudanum to pacify them. They wait in line, livestock, dull brown eyes and filthy skin. Many soil themselves as they wait. Into the, into the manipulator they file in silence. I hear the hissing of gas. I hear the dull groaning as teeth are removed, as bones are reset. I hear the pigs screaming. We have removed all the mirrors. After the process, it is the reflections that trouble them most. Afterwards, when they sleep, I walk amongst them. My children. I whisper to their dreams. You are my children now. I have children once again, and your forms and perfect will be the engines to make my own blood flow again. What the hell, Mandis? Pig monster? Over there, place it in the corner. What? You think I speak Prussian? Do I look like an inbred hog, sir? Well, he is British, so that's to be expected. What it contains, just set it down carefully and leave me be. Casual racism. Any Brit will tell you that. If you're not being casually racist, you're not being British enough. What the hell? Well, I'm suspicious of that immediately. I'm onto your game, you. Maybe they do have eye holes. It's hard to tell. Still. I'm gonna look at those windows. See those windows? I'm not even gonna pay attention to those. Oh my god. I don't even know where I'm going. I can't even walk it anymore. Where's it go? Don't mind me. I'm just, uh, I'm Gollum. I'm looking for my precious. Of course. An easy way out? That'd be silly. What is this nonsense? This is not what I signed up for. Okay. I just... Busy! The lift has been sabotaged. You will have to find another way to the tunnel. Take care in this place, Mandus. It is the crucible of the evil that stalks these corridors. Crucible? What do you mean? Oh, you're gone. Okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. <sighs> Stay calm. You are the calm man. You are so cool, it's unbelievable. You are so cool, you're able to walk right into the cold storage. That's how cool you are. Mm. Okay, a map, yes. Let us get my bearings. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to walk through that. Okay, yeah, I'm in the... Mixing center. Not looking forward to the next bit, I can tell you that. Flood, breach, emergency... Right, still. Alright, let me think. Let me, let me not think. Let me just stall out these next six minutes. Aha! Is this it? Oh my god, I think it is. Renneberg compound. Beautiful. Let's get, a, let's get another one. Running now. Goodbye. Children, I'm fairly certain you're dead. So are you ghosts or are just products of my own seriously messed up psyche? 
Both, maybe? August 14th, 1898. More experiments with compound X. Took the dog and injected it with strike nine. After the expected convulsions and spasming, it died just after midnight. I immersed the body in a large tank of compound X and introduced an alternating current an alternating current via the induction coil for a period of three and a half minutes. Partial return was induced, however, damage occurred prior to death was retained upon revival, meaning the dog continued in the acute state of strike nine poisoning until I put a bullet in its skull. But drowning? Perhaps, yes. It is, after all, known to be the kindest of suicides. If one were to drown, replacing the fluid in the lungs with compound X should theoretically be perfectly possible as a revival method. I don't think that last bit is true. Kindest of suicides. I, in fact, to me, drowning is pretty much the scariest way to go. Gee, that's funny. Thanks. Okay. Both bits ready. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. That was open. But it wasn't open before. Let's take a hike, shall we? Alright, where does this go? Oh, it drops right off in there. That's handy. Okay, one part OMD. Other part, uh, Brennenberg something or other. Because, you know... Such happiness is associated with the name Brennenberg. Oh, that's going to be the egg zone. So how do we flicker this bad boy on, even? Hmm? Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick. Uh oh, should I like vacate the premises, hide behind something or something? Oh, well, okay. Seems a bit of... I have the compound. It hisses and steams in its container like some living thing. A witch's jelly to burn and corrode. The container is made from glass. A strange choice, unless there is some particular reason why the metal that pervades else everywhere else cannot be brought into contact with the so-called compound X. I should investigate further for clues. Oh, don't drop it now. I have to go through all that nonsense to get another one. I think I know what I gotta do. Oop, easy. That was, that was an accident, but okay. I knew it from the start, baby. Knew it from the start. Got it in one, even. That's a nice. Are we going crazy? What's with the Wookie vision? Down here, Daddy. Faster, faster. No, children. I think it's time you get your asses up here before I kill you. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. Look at that! Look at that! For God's sakes, we are descending into the pit of hell. Oh no, we're not. We're descending about five feet. Okay, now we're descending into the pit of hell. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, Internet. I'm out of time, so we will go down in the next episode. But until then, this is Mr. Welch signing off.